This is the T-Rex 550 swash plate. Uh, pretty straightforward. We are going to use a two millimeter driver on the ball link ends and it's just simply a matter of taking each end out, thread lock, and replacing these into the swash. So you got three, four, the links up from the cyclic servos and you've got two to the rotor head and two to the swash driver. So we've got a total seven here. Pretty straightforward, just make sure you get thread lock to each one. I typically leave the back one loose because I'm going to have to make some adjustments on this later. So I do the first two here. The elevator cyclic I leave alone. Uh, you're going to have to come in and do the swash driver arm. Ball links. Both sides here. And then we actually have to do ball links going up to the grip arms and these go to the outer hole. If you can get a look here, this goes to the outer hole for the fly barless setup on the T-Rex 550X. That's using the Micro Beast Plus that's provided with the Super Combo and you will get proper servo resolution when you use that setup. Just a little more to go here and this is about done. Finally we'll get to this one. Okay, that is the swash setup for the T-Rex 550X. This is for the two blade rotor head. We've also got a video here for the three blade optional rotor head. Uh, depending on which setup you're building, you'll obviously have to follow the right manual.